Hello audience. Today we will discuss about the how to select 3-phase EMI filter. 3-phase EMI filters are designed to meet the stringent requirements of EMC regulations for industrial applications. Regulations specify the maximum permissible noise levels, in decibel, allowed back on power lines. The general requirements for a 3-phase EMI filter design include input currents, line voltage, size limitation, and required insertion loss. In addition to this, the configuration of a 3-phase EMI filter plays an important role in the design. The first consideration is to determine the voltage of the system. When determining AC voltage you will want to consider both line-to-line -line and line-to-ground voltage. 3-phase AC power will require a filter for each of the 3-phase lines and the neutral, 4 total paths. Attenuation or insertion loss Since this is such a crucial parameter for defining the filter. Filters are designed to block unwanted interference at higher frequencies, while leaving the desired power, signal or data frequencies to pass through unaffected. In the case of power line filters, the power frequency is generally 50 sixtieths of a hertz or 400 hertz, and only filters that match the designated of your system should be used. A frequency range should also be specified for the unwanted interference our filters will reject. This frequency range should be accompanied by the desired insertions loss or performance of the filter throughout the frequency range, in decibel. Reactive or Leakage Current some regulatory agencies or military specifications will specify the amount of reactive current, or leakage current, that is allowed by the filter for safety purposes. Reactive current of the filter is caused by the amount of capacitance between line and ground. Increases in the values of the line to ground capacitance will cause the reactive current to increase, while decreases will lower reactive current. In order to limiting reactive current of a filter, the capacitor values must be properly sized. Lowering the value of the capacitors will be detrimental to the performance of the filter. To maintain performance after lowering capacitance will require an increase in the amount of inductance in the filter. Capacitive versus Inductive Input A filter may be designed with either capacitive or inductive input. The advantage of an inductive input is the limit on the effect of transients or spikes on the line as well as some EMP pulses, and better performance in real-world unmatched source, load applications. However, inductive input filters tend to have a higher passband impedance and tend to be more expensive than capacitive input filters. Differential and Common Mode Filtering Differential Mode Current sometimes referred to as normal or symmetrical current, is the component of RF energy present on both the signal and return paths that is equal and opposite of each other. Common mode current, sometimes referred to as longitudinal or asymmetrical current, is the component of RF energy that is present on both signal and return paths as shown in the figure. Differential mode filtering involves placing capacitors between lines and or an inductor in series with either the high or the low side of the line. Common mode filtering involves capacitors to ground and or a common mode inductor in series with both side of the line or lines. A common mode inductor does not affect differential mode currents except for whatever imperfect coupling exists, that is, leakage inductance. It is best to split the inductor evenly on both sides of the transmission line to maintain balance in the circuit. The key point is to understand that filters are composed of inductors and capacitors with parasitic, resonance effects that cause them to interact with the source, load impedances of the equipment, components. The filter should be placed directly at the exit point of the wire from the product. Good effective separation is essential. The separation prevents coupling of noise back into the input wires circumventing and nullifying the effects of the filter. This would be an excellent choice for an AC inlet mounted EMI filter or power entry module, filter. Different Types of EMI Filters Delta 3-Phase EMI Filter 
Delta-3 phase EMI filters are designed to reduce the electromagnetic interference in devices connected to 3-phase delta power. The delta configuration contains 4 wires, 3 hot conductors and 1 ground conductor. Because of the absence of the neutral wire, capacitors used in delta-3 phase EMI filters have to be rated for line-to-line, -line, phase to phase voltage which can increase the size weight and cost. However, the absence of the neutral wire allows for higher current ratings than Y and better performance in the same given cubic volume. Y3 Phase EMI Filter YEMI filters are designed to filter typical switch mode power conversion devices and other applications that require a neutral connection. This configuration is composed of five wires, three hot conductors, a neutral and a ground. In Y configuration, the phase loads are connected at a single, neutral, point where the neutral wire gets connected. When loads of a Y configuration are fully balanced, no current flows through the neutral wire. When the loads are unbalanced, there is current through the neutral wire. In many applications, the neutral wire can be left floating. However, as previously mentioned, the Y configuration provides the flexibility to connect the loads in the circuit either line to neutral or line to line. The three phase delta EMI filter configuration can technically be more cost effective than the Y configurations because it only requires three conductor cables instead of four, reducing the cost of materials to build the units. However, some of these cost benefits can be offset by the need for high voltages rated components. Benefits of 3-Phase EMI Filters Different types of electrical networks have various power demands. Smaller items, such as consumer electronics and home appliances like microwaves, have little power demands and only need single-phase power. But high-power applications like industrial machinery and test equipment, require more power to function. Three-phase power is often used to distribute power in these large-scale applications. Three-phase EMI filters offer more effective noise suppression in high-power applications than their single-phase counterparts. Because electrical noise can impede the functionality of many electronic and electrical devices, Three-phase filters can keep your high-power products running smoothly and help you maintain compliance with federal EMI regulations. Better three-phase filters with fill TMC When you need three-phase EMI filters for industrial, medical and military equipment, you need the most reliable solution possible. Each filter is quality tested in our agency-approved in-house testing facility and can be designed to meet U.S. European and Canadian safety approval standards. Three-phase products can be used for single-phase application. Please contact Croydon Services Private Limited for details. Thanking you.